Keep watching for lots of knitting and crochet on Yarn Lane. You don't need to change channels. Pop the kettle on and meet us back here in a couple of minutes. You can also watch on the Yarn Lane YouTube channel and Facebook Live. To get a sneaky peek of the products featured on the show and shop, please go to the Yarn Lane website at www.yarnlane.com or via our UK call centre on 0800 4 700 600. And remember, if you've already shopped with Sewing Street today, you won't pay any more postage and packaging for shopping with Yarn Lane because it's 1 p.m.p. across both channels all day. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools? And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. 
Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! My word, I forgot how far of a commute it is from the Sewing Street studio to the Yarn Lane studio. We had to grab our bags, get on the train and get here. Um, luckily, Denny is lovely and calm and cool and collected and knows what she's doing. So we've got a brilliant hour with loads going on. Those of you that have met Denny from I Knit Designs um, about a month ago. I know that you've been on the last you've been on a couple of times now haven't you uh twice and they, i remember the first time that denny was here and the excitement from bex reed oh it, well it was just such a brilliant show and all of the kits were really really popular so back by popular demand we love them um this time though something slightly different now i've got loads of kits as you can see piled all around me um so cat which one shall we go through first because we've bought loads of these uh, yarns in, um, thank you, this one. We've bought in lots of yarns, especially for for um, for the show today. So, Denny, it's lovely to, to meet you. you. Um, tell me a bit about iKnit Designs before we uh, go through all these kits. Right, well, it's my idea about eight years ago uh, to start to design uh, knitting patterns. I'd been uh, running my own IT company for over 20 years. Oh, wow. Spent a lot of time running around the country, and I felt I needed to step back a little bit from that and, and do something that I really enjoyed, which okay. is fabrics and, and yarns. Um, so using my IT skills as well, I've developed over 150 patterns. Fantastic. Over an eight-year oh. period. Gosh. And um, they're, they're loaded up on my website and other websites. But I was uh, contacted by Yarn Lane and asked if they could put them as kits for me. So we have now printed patterns, which I haven't had before. They've always been downloaded. Oh, gosh. And uh, you, you buy the yarn in and we sell them as kits. And it is lovely to have the physical pattern, isn't yes. it, um, to hand. And the cushions, I mean, look at this. I suppose it really helps having the IT background that you do to be able to create more, I'm going to say complex, but I know that you said before, the first time that you were on, this isn't actually as complicated as it looks, no, is it? No, it's it all amazing. knit and purl stitches. Wow. Yeah. It looks amazing. And look at the sheep, how fluffy they are. That is because... We've got the cuddle uh, yarn, the chunky cuddles yarn, which is gorgeous. So in this first kit, for this cushion, this is what you can make. You get all of the yarn that you need. I mean, it looks like you get tons of yarn here, Denny. You do. Um, Plenty. Yeah, I mean, you obviously have to have a, a ball of yarn for a colour. So there's possibly going to be... Um, enough yarn over to make another one yeah absolutely yeah. brilliant yeah you've got the light blue you've got seven um balls of of yarn you've got black you've got the light blue you've got your purple you've got this lovely two-tone green for the grass um all selected and kitted especially for the cushion for the lighter green and of course how could you forget your lovely cuddles uh white as well plus the patterns now the patterns go through everything that you need but then this is what is brilliant is is of course you've got your chart that you can work from that's right yes yeah and i give instructions on how to read them and load your the uh, bobbins for them brilliant 22 pounds and 99 pence that's everything that you need to create your cushion it they are absolutely brilliant aren't they they're absolutely beautiful um and this is what yarn lane's all about as well is is of course finding smaller independent companies that are incredibly passionate but also oh my word i mean just 
you're so talented putting these uh, <laughs> patterns together and championing them. So £22 and £99 for your kit. That's number one. We've got loads to go through, loads of options today. Uh, I think, yeah, Rebecca is obviously trying to get through all of your 100 and how many pounds? 150. 150. <laughs> is this one that we've done before on the show? No, that's the new one for this there show. There you go. That's yeah. a brand new one as well today for the show. Where should we go next, Kat? Um, we've also got a grey, which is, oh, I just don't want to get all of these mixed up. This one. Uh, so this one, again, comes with, I'm going to just place that here a second. It comes with your pattern. It comes with your cuddles, white, lovely yarn. It comes with three greys, and that is to make this one. Plus, you get your pattern and, of course, your instruction of how to read your pattern. I love that. That is brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. And again, is this, like you say, knit and pearl? Oh, yeah, it's all knit and pearl uh, stitches. No, nothing complicated at all. And I will go through how to knit a sheep in the demonstration. Gosh, fantastic. <laughs> Jot down today's date, so once you've got your kits, you can start, uh, of course, watching back. This is only 9 99 $19.99, sorry, only 19 99 and it comes with all of your yarn plus your eye knits pattern as well. Green. Is the grey new? Sorry, I keep forgetting to ask. Yes, yes. Grey new. Yes, the green one I have here. Oh, um, nice, the green Which is my, my most downloaded pattern. From all over the world, oh, it's wow. downloaded. It's, it is the most popular pattern. That is lovely, isn't it? Again, nineteen ninety nine. Uh, yeah, it's like counting sheep, isn't it? It is a bit. <laughs> <laughs> you've got three of your olive green, and then you've also got your black. Plus, you've also got the lovely cuddles, chunky knit as well. Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Plus, you get your eye knit designs, which. As Jenny was saying, it's the first time that you've you've seen them out, you know, printed as a pattern as that's opposed right. to downloads. Yes, that's it. Just nineteen ninety nine, and that's for the green. Already going straight into baskets. Lots of people have been waiting for the for Denny's kits to come back. Um, and we're really really pleased that we've managed to get new colours and new patterns as well. Green, very, very popular, and that's the one that Denny's got. I'm running through these quite quickly, so then we can spend as much time demoing as possible. Um, and then last pattern, last but not least, we have um, the blue first. I love this blue. That's a lovely blue, isn't it? Is. It is. I think it's a denim. So this is what we're making. <laughs> oh, that is really nice. And can I just show you the back as well? It's so lovely with the heart. And we've got little sheep buttons. We have got some sheep buttons. Kat said to me, oh, I'm gutted that we don't have sheep buttons. And we found some. We do. Uh, so this one, again, it's so gorgeous that it's all love hearts. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. $17.99. It comes with your pattern. I suppose once you've got the pattern, you could put it onto a jumper or I suppose you can... Yeah, the yeah. Char chart is there, yes. Absolutely. You could, you could add it to anything, really. Uh, you've got your pink, white, black and two blues. £17.99, your I Love Sheep Cushion Kit. That one is gorgeous. I absolutely love the designs. Really, really different, aren't they? Very unique. I don't think I've seen knitted patterns like this before. They are absolutely gorgeous. Then finally, same, um, same pattern this time in grey. If you do want to see any of these again, please, please, please do let us know. Or if you've got any questions about them, it's worth getting them in whilst we've got Denny here. Two of the grey, one white, black and pink. And that makes this one. I do love that. And the stripe back as well. It's just gorgeous. It's lovely soft um, yarn, really, really lovely quality yarn that we've managed to kit and bundle. Just seventeen ninety nine, brilliant value to say that you get your chart, you get all of the instructions of how to read the chart as well, um, and we're going to go through how to knit the sheep um, that we've seen in the fluffy ones as well. So any questions that you've got for Denny, get them in. 
Let's just quickly do the buttons because I know loads of people are going <laughs> to want them. If you haven't seen these before, pack of four, three ninety nine, multi buy on these, ready for your cushions for the backs of cushions. Oh, I'm not surprised. People multi buying straight away. Three pounds ninety nine. You do get four of these, and they're lovely. Oh, in fact, they're about to sell out. They are about to sell out. We've got six left. More than six of you, I think, have got them in your basket, so do check out as soon as you can. It will be the only time you see them. I mean, we'll talk to um, Danny throughout the hour about different size knitting needles or things that are going to be useful. Get questions in because, um, yeah, I'm a complete novice when it comes to this. So please do get all of your questions whilst we have it for the next 45 minutes. The most popular kit so far is the one with the purples which is this one there you go the first stripe one that we saw the first stripe one that we saw which is brand new in today and it is the most popular at the moment uh, we'll keep you updated though on, on what is available so over to you then Denny what is it that you want to show us right okay so um, obviously the sheep <laughs> are the things yeah. to knit um, they, it looks a fantastic cushion and it looks quite hard to knit it does but it isn't so when you start you'll start with the ribbing to begin with you can see it's an envelope on the back so we start at this point mm -hmm. with ribbing stock and stitch all the way down turn the corner and there's a nice um, row there that is all that is is knitted on the pearl side which gives a nice crisp edge to the cushion and then a few rows of stocking stitch and then we come to a row of white sheep. So I've anticipated and started off to show you how to knit the sheep. So what I have are the, the legs already done. So all that is is two strands of black yarn. So just cut them ready. And then oh, so you don't have to completely change your yarn? Not, not, for, the, not for the legs, okay. because we can carry the green yarn behind the black, because it's only one stitch. Right. So, um, so the legs are easy to do. Just carry the black and the green yarn between the pair of legs. Don't try and uh, take the yarn between the legs, because it, it won't look correct, and it will bunch up a bit. Right, OK. So we're now ready to uh, start knitting the white of the sheep. And the pattern gives you good diagrams oh, it's nice and clear, of isn't the it? sheep. Yes, yes. So we have a um, right facing sheep, a left facing sheep, and a front facing sheep. So um, let's do this one as a, um, a right facing sheep. So what I have, I always start with a ball of yarn. Mm -hmm. and uh, I'm going to knit up to where I need to start the white. So <clears throat> I can see that I've already placed the black legs where they need to be. So for the white, it starts above the first black leg. So I don't count stitches. I rely on my chart to tell me what to do next. So I've knitted the green up to where I need to start the fluffy white and I have a yarn bob bobbin ready. Right. The, these are important because if you just leave them on the ball of yarn, they will all tangle. Um, I've tried doing it without the bother of winding a bobbin, but uh, it never works and right. I regret it. So I would recommend the yarn bobbins. Is it harder to see your stitching with the fluffy yarn? Or no, not, 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 not no. really. No, not at all. No. They have got the bobbins, by the way. They're only £1.49, and as you say, they want to stop any tangling. Yeah. Uh, there you go, just one forty nine. Yeah, they are essential, really. Uh, so what we're doing is intarsia knitting, um, which means that we don't carry the yarn behind. So I'm going to leave that green behind here. Is there a way of knowing the front or the back of your knitting? If you're picking this up and putting it down... Yes, because it's stocking stitch, right. um, I'll, I'll flip it over and you can see that that's the back as it's showing a different finish. Okay. So the front will always show the, the stitch definition. Oh, yeah. The yeah. V. Yeah. V. 
so that, that's how you tell. I mean, if you like um, the effect of the other side, it would work just as well. But normally it's done on this side where the stitch definition is shown. So I'm going to start with my fluffy white and just start knitting. That's all it is. So I've left that green yarn behind and I'm just knitting the white. And I can see from the chart that I have to go beyond the two legs, the back two legs, by one stitch. So there's the one stitch past that back leg. So that's my first row of fluffy sheep. He looks quite cute already. Yeah, he does. <laughs> it's fun to watch it grow. So now I don't want to carry this green yarn behind because it would make the tension completely wrong. So I'm leaving that where it is and taking another bobbin and uh, starting to knit with that. And that's as difficult as it gets. <laughs> I mean, that's brilliant, isn't it? I mean, you can have this on loop on YouTube. You can watch it back and see just how simple that is. Yeah. Nice. So if I do a pearl row for you, just so that... Uh, oh, I can see why you need that bobbin, look, because you would get in a right tangle. You would just, get in a right yeah. tangle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It would just be like a, a kitten's been at it and you yeah, can't untangle absolutely. it. No. So on this second row, I'm, I'm purling back and I can see that I need to start my white stitch one before the other white stitches that uh, are on the previous row. So if I undo it just a little bit. Now the important bit here is to ensure that the working yarn goes in front of the new yarn. Right. Because then you trap, trap the green yarn which doesn't make a hole. Ah, okay. So it, it flows quite nicely then. Do you trim that tail off or is that then on the back? Um, that green tail? You would need, you, you can weave it in. Weave it in. Um, so if, probably don't, I'll go back a couple of stitches. You can either darn it in or weave it in. It doesn't really matter. Uh, if you like to darn, I like to darn them in, but you can take that end and pop it over the white yarn again and start to knit. So you're trapping it along. Oh, I see. And if you yeah. do it every couple of stitches, it gets shorter and then you don't have to darn it in. So that's just called, that's just knitting it. What's, so what is darning it in? Uh, darning in is with a darning needle, needle. sewing yeah. it in, yeah, yeah. So, as you see, it, it does interrupt the, the knitting a little bit, um, but... But it means but they're it, nice and neat then. Yeah, but it means you don't have to sew them in. Yeah. Um, what size knitting needles are you using, Denny? So, on this particular cushion, it's uh, a double knit yarn, so it's uh, three and a quarter millimeter for the rib right. and four millimeter for the main cushion. So it's pretty standard. And does it change through different kits then? Different yes, designs? The, the single sheep cushion is an Aran yarn. Ah, okay. So that will be a four millimeter uh, knitting needles for the rib and five millimeters for the main. Yeah, it says this all on the front of your, your yes, pattern anyway. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. So yes, so I'm now back, I've finished all the white. So I'm placing that down, bringing my green yarn up and finishing that row. The grey and the green are both neck and neck at the moment. The grey and the green, both <laughs> very, very popular. The green, the one that you can see on Denny's uh, desk there is your main graphic. This is what it looks like finished. 19.99. It comes with your pattern, your printed pattern, um, plus three green, one black, and a fluffy white as well, all included in your kit. Brilliant. Yeah. So yes, you you just follow the chart all the way up. Okay. Uh, when you get to the face, just join in some black yarn, 
So if I, I pretend I'm doing a face, you'll be a very short, dumpy sheep. <laughs> so I've got three of white. And I've got some black ready. So it would be two, two black for the beginning of the face. And again, you can, you can just weave that black in if you want to, or you can sew it, sew it to darn, darn in at the end. Right. And then continue with the white again. So it isn't difficult at all. No, no. <laughs> We're following, aren't we? Please do make sure, as I say, you jot down today. So it's all explained in the instructions of how to follow your chart. And because it's blown up on the back as well, yes. um, it's yeah. really clear that, like you said, you don't actually need, even need to count your stitches. You can see. You can see from, from the chart. The, the chart. Yes. On, the, on this particular one, I've given you a, uh, a stitch count along the row. So it tells you four knit, 17 stitches from the, the chart, 17, uh, sorry, five knit, then another 17 yeah. from the chart. So when you do the next um, sheep, you, you will have the green here, you'll have the white on a bobbin, you'll have the green on a bobbin, so you need another bobbin with the white, another with the green, another with the white, green, white, green. Brilliant. All across. So it is important to have the bobbins or it will tangle. <laughs> I love that it's all textured as well because you've got the, the fluffy yarn. It's really three dimensional, isn't it? Is. It's very tactile. Yes. yes. When I saw this yarn, I thought, oh, sheep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely. It's perfect. It yeah. is perfect. Yeah. Are all of your patterns sheep? No, no. There's a huge variety of, oh. of all different things. Oh, we'll have to get them all on. We'll have to get them all on. <laughs> um, it's just our theme for today is all of the sheep. sheep. We love it. The, the uh, sheep are very popular, I yes. must admit. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. very, very popular. Your main graphic is for the green, which you say is your most popular. The, this one here, yes, this, this particular one, um, has been downloaded thousands and thousands of times oh, wow. all over the world. And I have photos from Australia where... <gasps> Sheep farmers have been Gosh. knitting them. I mean, that must feel amazing it seeing is. all of yeah. everybody's making up your design. It must be brilliant, especially all over the world. So please yeah. do send in your photographs. If you made any of these last time Denny was here, if you've made anything since then, or of course the Yarn Lane fan page as well. I know lots of people share their pictures on there. Uh, right, so. And, and this one has, has little sheep buttons on as well at the back. So that, that just. Oh, it's lovely. Now gone. It is lovely. <laughs> Have they sold out yet? Yeah, they're sold out. Um, still way in the lead is the sheep on the hillside, the one that's behind me here. Uh, you get all of the yarn that you need at the front of the desk here. You can see, oh, I'll stretch across and reach for it. So you've got the black, the blue, the two shades of purple, the white, and the two different greens as well for the sheep on the hillside. Uh, you get your pattern which is a printed pattern and uh, all of the charts, etc., that you need on there. £22.99. pence. The picture that, um, that we show, it's got daisy buttons as well. Look at the little daisy buttons. I think they're on the Sewing Street website, you know. I think they're on the same web on the Sewing Street website. Remember, it's the same posting packaging across Yarn Lane website and Sewing Street. So if you bought something on Sewing Street or you bought something on Yarn Lane, vice versa, then you'd be able to mix and match. Ah, in fact, they're on the Yarn Lane website as well. I think Bex has put them on, especially for the show. So if you do want them, absolutely can. There's lots of lovely wooden buttons because it is really nice to embellish. As I said, this one's because it's got that three-dimensional feel with the the cuddle fleece, the cuddle yarn. Um, it would be really, really nice to, to add some even more texture with the different buttons. Uh, the pattern is in front of, of Denny, actually. That's the one that you're looking at now. Oh, that's right, yes. yeah. And, and the same principles. It's all knit and, and purl. You know now how to knit a, a sheep. Uh, so it's just changing the background colours. So it will be starting with the lighter gr green, changing to the variegated green, and then the purple, lilac, and then the blue of the sky. Right. So I wanted the grad gradients of colours to represent a hillside. Yeah. And as, as the sheep get further away from you, they get smaller. 
So I have here a little patch of uh, knitting that I'm going to show you how to do the, the, the little, li ones. The little yes. ones <laughs> in the background. You, c you could do them as intarsia knitting as you go along, but I think this method is actually better. because right, so you do all your background first uh, and then knit over the top of them. For, for these little ones, yeah. yes. For, yeah. for the bigger ones, you knit them as you go along. But and you say that's called intarsia knitting. Intarsia knitting, that's right. right, yes. So for the little ones, I mean, you can place these little ones wherever you want them to go. There's no hard and fast rule on it. But I have given you in the chart where I place them. So you will have an indication of, of where to put them. So I've done one already for you and a you know, uh, diddy little sheep here. So if we look at the pattern, they are facing different ways, even though they are so small. <coughs> so what I've done is I've Swiss darned or duplicated it, duplicate stitch. So you, you thread two needles, with one with the black yarn, one with the fluffy white, and you Swiss darn the sheep. So I'll show you how to do that. I'm not even going to bother to cut those. Okay. I'm going to take the black and go to the next point where I want a sheep. So let me do a different one. So we've got a left facing sheep. I will do a little one here. So take the black yarn, decide where you want to put it and poke the needle through the bottom of the V of the stitch and try not to pull too hard, just leave it quite loose like that. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do, go up to the top of the V, behind to the other top of the V, pull the stitch through. We're just gonna zoom in even closer to you, Denny, so we okay. can see this nice <laughs> and clearly. Fab, thank yeah. you. And then back from where you came at the bottom of the V. So you're, what you're doing is duplicating a stitch. That's why it's called duplicate stitch. Makes sense. It does. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't need anything complicated. <laughs> and um, so that's one, one leg done. So I'm going to do the same thing again. Go to the bottom of the stitch, up underneath to the top again. and back down and keep it all very loose. It doesn't have to be tight at all. And there we have the legs. So I can see that on the sheep I've chosen, this one here, I need two white ones now, but in instead of taking the white up immediately, I'm going to do his head. So I'm going to leave the two that will become white and go to the position of his head, which is up here. We've got 13 of these left available, by the way. Very, very popular. Very, very popular indeed. It actually won a competition, this design. Did it? Yes, um, people seem to love it. So. Oh, it is lovely, isn't it? I love the colours that we've used as well. Do you tell everyone how to do the back of it, even stripy back? Yes. Is that included in the pattern as yes. well? Yes. Oh, brilliant. Yes, yes, it is. Okay, so now I've got his head done, so I've picked up the fluffy white. And I'm going to do the same thing again. Uh, go to the bottom of the V, pull it through, all very loose, to the top, behind, and back down again. And I need another one. I suppose it's up to you how many of these you put on there, yeah, where you put them. Exactly, yes, yes. It could be a bump a year of lambs one year, and you could have lots. Yeah. <laughs> so do you design them first on the computer, or do you have to try them out? Is it, I suppose it's quite trial and error, isn't it, doing it, knitting uh, it up, or doing it on the computer? No, I get it right on the computer first. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would hate to knit something and think it's not going to work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that's not me. <laughs> I like to be sure that my time is spent well. <laughs> so I, um, I have a... a computer software program that I use to, mm -hmm. to and I, <clears throat> what I do is I, um, I gauge how many rows and stitches I need 
for a, a cushion and then I draw with a mouse the mm -hmm. colours and the shapes and things I want. But the great thing is is that you're also a knitter so there's a lot of companies that probably make patterns that aren't necessarily um, people that are knitters that are doing it that's They're just right. the techie side yes but actually you've got experience in both the technical side and the knitting experience as well that's right yes yeah. yes and I knit them always afterwards after I've charted them and written the pattern I will personally knit them yeah um, and so every one that you see on my website is, is hand knitted by me oh brilliant yeah. so yeah so we now have a different uh, sheep so that, that's all you do. You go along with your yarn, pick another place where you want a, a little lamb and, and go along the oh. cushion. <laughs> that's so cute, isn't it? And then, like we said, when you've got the hang of how you do it, you'll be adding little sheep on the back of everything, every cushion anyway, <laughs> yeah. that don't have sheep uh, intended on it. It's like, I'm just going to add a couple of sheep on there on the back. It's gorgeous. And, and the buttons, uh, you can buy really lovely buttons nowadays. Um, oh, yeah. And I, I chose the daisy ones because I thought it you know, would be nice for the sheep to be in a daisy field. Um, but it, you could also embroider daisies or flowers if you wanted to in the same way. Yeah, oh, do you know, I never think of that. I always think with the knitting, that once you've knitted it, that's it. But actually, it's good to know that you can then add even more texture and even more detail that's right. on the top of it. Yes, yes. Is that, I think you answered this earlier, but is that a darning needle that you're using to do that? It, yes, it's a, a, a wide-eyed, a yeah. large wide uh, needle, yeah. So Lovely. the hole is very big to get the yarn through, yeah. So a darning needle is fine. Fab. Yeah. Um, the uh, Sheep on the Hillside, multi-buyers on this one. If you are uh, shopping with us today, remember it's the same post and packaging across on Sewing Street as well. The kit that we're talking about is the sheep on the hillside, the cushion that's behind me, and you get all of the different colours, plus you get your pattern. And obviously, because you're just using them for the different stripes, you're also doing the, the back, which is an envelope-backed cushion, again with that ribbed um, Yeah, uh, ribbed I think you have edge. it down there. If you, if you show... Oh, sorry. It's I will show you, yeah, because absolutely. Because on the back, I've utilised the yarn, because you, you have a big amount of yarn uh, to, to do the front. So I've utilised the yarn on the back with the stripes. Shout out to Maggie. Maggie Presley, Presley, who's um, knitted this one Well done, us. thank you Maggie. That's Isn't it gorgeous? Lovely. Really She's done lovely. a great job. Yeah. And I love this two-tone, the variegated yes. yarn is lovely, isn't it's it? It's perfect for, for a meadow. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely perfect for the meadow. Um, and the clouds as well are the fluffy, yes, fluffy yarn. Lovely clouds. How nice <laughs> is that? And I suppose same with, uh, as with the smaller ones. This one, every cloud's different shape, so don't worry. No, you, no, you, exactly. You use your own. It's quite forgiving, I suppose, isn't it? The it is. Yes, it, it certainly is. If it, I, yeah, you could do different shape sheep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> different shape sheep, and it's fine. hard to say. <laughs> but, yeah, but uh, the, the charts are the, on this one is particularly good because it, it goes over two pages. Um, so you can see that uh, you, know, you would just be following it uh, from row one. Mm -hmm. So row one are the knit rows, so, uh, and row two is the purl rows. So odd rows are knit, even rows are purl. And, uh, just get the feet in position first. Well, you've done the grids as well, so the cross grids, uh, so that you can really see even clearer. That's right, yes. Square. Yes. I've done a, a, a 10 stitch uh, dark uh, grid, uh, as well as the small cell, cell grids. Uh, so get the, uh, the legs in first, and then after that, you can just follow your chart to, to do the white. Fantastic. £22.99, and pence. please do don't make sure you're checking out because we are ooh, nearing up on selling out. I think we're about to hit single figures on it, so do make sure you're checking out. It's brand new to Yarn Lane today, brand new in. Um, we haven't seen Denny for about a month or so, so um, do make the most of them whilst they are here. If you've got any questions, get them in. Uh, right, final cushion. Right, if I could just say, uh, when you have, oh, of course, yeah, you, you, when you when you're knitting the cushion, it's a, it's a long piece of knitting, so you fold it over, 
uh, rib to rib. And then the only thing to sew up is are the two side, side seams here. So there's very little sewing to do. Yeah, lots of knitters I know uh, want as little sewing as possible, don't they? Yes. <laughs> so yes. It's, it's strange, isn't it? I it know is lots of weird, people who, who love sewing and knitting, but when they're knitting, they're like as little I've got sewing to be knitting. as possible. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, right, so the last one that we want to look at um, is look at the beautiful sheep. These are gorgeous, <laughs> aren't they, with the hearts as well. And I love that you've used that motif on the. The back, back as well, that yes. you've got the hearts running through. That's right. This one's knitted by Caroline um, Offord, who is um, hopefully watching. It's knitted beautifully. Thank you, Caroline. Isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. I love this blue. That is so lovely. Now, it comes with two of the blue, black, a white, and that lovely rose pink as well, which you're obviously going to have oodles left over. Uh, only used for, for your ears and, of course, the stripes on the back. So, um, yeah, you're going to have plenty of yarn as well to do that. $17.99. You also get your printed pattern. Uh, it is also available in the colour that you can see on the front of the, the pattern here in grey. Um, the grey one comes with, um, obviously, your pattern. It comes with a pink, black, white and two grey this time. And that's to make this colourway. £17.99. and pence. The grey is actually slightly in the lead. I love the blue, absolutely. But do you know grey, we all have greys, don't we? Our home <laughs> decor. Well, mine certainly is. It yeah. goes with everybody's decor. It does decor. go with everything, doesn't it? Yes. It does. But I do like the blue. It's the first I've seen it in the blue. It, oh, it, it does look lovely. It yeah. does. Works yeah. really, really well. Um, there's only 12 of the grey left available, so don't wait to the end of the demo if I were you if you've got it in your basket. Uh, so what part of this are you showing us, Denny? Right. I've... I'm showing you um, part way up. So I've knitted um, the, the start of the face and I've knitted part of the tail. So I'm showing you this because I, I'd like to show you that you shouldn't be frightened if you've got lots of colours in one row going on. So I will have uh, the blue, the black, the pink, uh, the white and the and black for the tail going along the back. Now this you can do ferrule knitting for this. The ferrule is when you, or stranded knitting, is when you carry the yarn behind the stitches. Okay. So in Tarsil you don't, you use bobbins and it's, it's a block of knitting and, and change the yarn. But with this one you can carry some the yarns that you need behind. So <coughs> I'm going to uh, start to knit uh, row 31. So again, I can see that the face is one stitch over on the left that I need to do in the black, but it starts the same on the right as I've already knitted the previous row. So I'll just do a couple of stitches. So this would be the edge of your cushion. And you can see I've got the, the ball of wool using that to start with and now I'm going to change to the black again make sure you trap the working yarn inside the new yarn mm -hmm. so if I show you that again I'm taking the blue to the left the black to the right underneath and that means you don't have a hole when the two two yarns change. And you say that these are Aran weight yarns this time? This one is an Aran weight, it's slightly thicker. Right, okay, so it means that you need um, a pair of four millimetre needles and, and, and a five. pair of five. Yes, they're, they're pretty standard, most knitters will have that in their, in their cupboard I think. If you did need any more bobbins by the way, there are literally a couple left in stock. So I can see that I have to do one more black and then I am coming over to do the blue. So I'm just going to take that to keep it all very loose. So I need one blue, one white. So again, I'm making sure I'm crossing those over. White, one blue, and one white. Making sure they don't 
get tangled up yes. between each other. You do learn <laughs> yeah. when you've done a few of them. <laughs> uh, right, so I have now three pink to do. So again, all I do is cross the yarns and continue. How, much do you know, how do you know how much to uh, put onto your bobbin? Can you easily add more in if you run out? Yes, what, what I do is just load them up as full as possible. Yeah. And then if I run out, I try, if it's on an intarsia um, bit of work, I would try and run out at the edge where I changed the yarns. Right, yeah. That's the easiest thing to do. If you, if you run out here in the middle, mm. it will always show. Right. So if you're run, running out of yarn, try and make it where it's obvious that Stop you, it you can uh, you run out. disguise it. Mm. Yes, yeah. Okay, so I've done the three pink, so I can drop that, and now I need three blue. I think your blue is slightly brighter, isn't it, than it our is. blue, actually? Yes. Yeah. Um, more of, like you said, a denim blue that you get in the kit. I do like the denim, it's, it is lovely. I was thinking it's the same colour as the blanket, but it's not at all. The blanket one was um, more of a teal. Did we do that last time? I think that was from last time, wasn't it? Uh, that was the first one I did. The first yeah. one. Yes. Can you just move your hand slightly forward if that doesn't yes. make it really awkward yeah. for you? Yeah. Okay. So, right. Um, I'm now ready to do a heart. So, I am looking to use the cream. So, I'm doing three cream. And one blue, and then another three cream. This and does that do at the base of your heart basically? Are you going from? Um, are you working in rows across? Like yes. This? yes, yes, I am. Yes, yes, it's all done in rows. Yeah, I'm building up the pattern as I go. Yeah. So, yeah, the heart started down oh, here, yeah, yeah. and I'm now going knitting up. To complete the heart. So I've done that one, three, three there, so I have another three to do in blue. Do you know this off by heart now then? Do you just... No, I'm following the chart. You are? Oh, brilliant. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I wouldn't be able to do it without the chart. I, I wouldn't know. Mm. I couldn't remember all this. <laughs> so I've come to the point here in the pattern where you can see that there's a very large area of white stitches. Yeah. So I'm going to catch the blue in as I go across, so I don't have a huge float of blue travelling across behind mm. the white. So uh, if I do three stitches, and I just place the blue over the white and carry on. And what it does, it travels along with you, but it doesn't leave a long float because you're catching it in every third stitch. Can you see, it's, ah, it's yeah, now yeah. travelling with me. Because otherwise, if you leave it, Paul, then you're going to have a big um, loop float. Yes, that's right. Across. Yes, yes. So try and avoid that. I know it's, it's going in the back of the cushion and you won't see it, but... Um, you want it as neat as possible. You, it, you do, yes, I think so. Okay, so I'm now doing four of the blue. And I might even travel it across four stitches. And then one white, two blue. And then I'm going to pick up the black for the tail. And again, making sure you cross them and two black and then finish with the blue. So that's one complete row of the sheet done. It doesn't take too long and uh, that's following the chart. Nice. And that looks lovely, doesn't it? The colours again, really beautiful together. We love that heart. 
Amazing. <laughs> so it comes, remember, in the blue or in the grey. $17.99, the blue is your main graphics. But as I say, it's definitely worth jotting down today's date so you can watch Denny's uh, demonstrations back on YouTube at any point. Uh, we do also have some of Denny's other designs on the website as well. Kat was looking at your website and saying, oh my word, it's lovely. There's loads of great ones, jump packs. <laughs> but if you go to Yarn Lane and type in I Knit, if you've already opened your order with Sewing Street or with Yarn Lane, then you can also see the other lovely little jumpers that are available. So there's a unicorn jumper and hat kit, which is, oh, who's this? This is my granddaughter, Ellie. Ellie! Happy She's birthday, good. Ellie, for tomorrow. Oh, Ellie! Tomorrow. Happy birthday. That is adorable. She's a right little model, isn't she? she is. She's lovely, yeah. Gorgeous. So you've got the unicorn jumper and hat. That is lovely, £22.99. Did you demonstrate that last time? Yes, I did. Yes, uh, the unicorn. Yeah. Brilliant. So if you want to watch that back, you can on YouTube. Um, plus, you've got the Velociraptor. I'm not very good with my dinosaurs, <laughs> but... That is brilliant. I do know that that is the one out of Jurassic Park, isn't it? Yes, he, he, he's the, the one I remember is when he's um, trying to get at people in the kitchen and he, his tail is knocking everything yeah, off that's the it. shelves. Yeah, that's the Velociraptor. Seventeen ninety nine, aged 4 to 13. Um, and in there you have the kit. So you've got all of the yarn that you need as well as the printed pattern. Um, there's also on there a, another one as well. Was it the Triceratops that's on there? That's right, um, with Ellie modelling again. Look yeah. at that. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. I like the shoulders on that. That's a bit different, actually. Yeah, I, I try to do block, blocks of colours just to, to make it a bit more funky for the kids because I think they love they love something a bit different yeah they're brilliant aren't yeah. they so everything that you need in the kit again plus your pattern for 17.99 oh i know so many people that would love those not only have you got these lovely sheep cushions today also have a look on the website for those uh, as well as any of the knitting needles uh, bits and bobs like that that you might need um, we do have some of the needles, in fact, they're on pre-order. I know that um, Becca we did load them for us, so if you do want to go on to Yarn Lane on pre-order on the right-hand side of the, the watch page, you can see the needles that uh, Denny has suggested we use. Stitch holders, do you ever use stitch holders at all? Yes, um, there will be stitch holders for the garments. Okay, yeah, brilliant. They're ideal for that. It's just two pounds and ninety nine pence. Is there anything else that you wanted to mention, Denny, about the um, the sheep cushions? I would just say, if you are knitting the stripes on the back of the cushion, uh, don't cut the yarn off to to go into a different colour. Keep it running up the side of the knitting. It just saves a lot of darning in of ends. Oh, there you go. So. Keep them running, so don't, once you finish a strip, if you, don't leave the blacks, uh, you know, just keep running here. If you, again, do exactly what you've said and, and keep them running along, then you won't yeah, have the so floats. I've worked it that that it's right? three different colours and there are five rows. Okay. So <clears throat> with a, with a grey row, you'll finish on one side, pick yeah. up the black, but leave the grey still uh, available to you, don't cut it off. Do five rows of the black. And then it will finish on the opposite side. So then you would pick up the pink, don't cut the black, do five rows of the pink, and then you're ready to pick up the grey. So it just runs up the side without you having to cut it off. Right, brilliant. And it's all knitted flat again, all of these cushions knitted flat. They are knitted and then, flat, yes. And then uh, yeah. sewn up the sides, um, yes. as you can see. So. Thank you ever so much. Okay. Thank you. It's been My lovely uh, to have you. We're going to have a quick recap of everything. But um, when are you back? Um, I think it's the end of August. Uh, do you know, have you got patterns in mind that you're bringing with us? Well, bringing to us? the last time I did um, uh, Yarn Lane, I had uh, a sheep, uh, a sheep ba two sheep baby patterns, and they sold out on the show. Oh. So uh, Rebecca wants me to do those again. Great. And she's picking out some more as well. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Oh, there's so much to choose from on the website. There are so many different beautiful ones. So I'm sure you'll get a great selection in August. Are you on the fans page at all, Denny? Yes. You are? Yes. Oh, brilliant. So yes. please post your, your makes because Denny will see them then. 
Um, because it is brilliant to see everybody's different takes on the cushions yeah. as yeah. well and yeah. embellishments to it. So thank you ever so much. It's thank been you. lovely having you with us. <laughs> flown by again hasn't it i don't know where time has gone but we'll see you soon thank you denny right so the gray let's have a quick recap so the gray cushion that you can see on the desk here comes with your um pattern all of um your instructions of how to read your chart um is there which is fantastic plus you're getting all of your yarn needed so you've got two gray You've got a black, a pink, and a white for seventeen pounds and ninety nine pence. Seventeen ninety nine. The grey's very, 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 very popular. Um, oh, uh, Susha said, finally, I understand how to carry wool across the back. Thank you. That's from Sue. Christine said, love the cushion and the dinosaur jumper. I know, aren't they brilliant? Absolutely brilliant. But don't forget to check out the website, actually, um, especially now you've paid your posting packaging and see if there's anything else that you just need to add in. Um, we've had a few new customers, in fact, who have purchased the, uh, the grey today. Welcome to Yarn Lane if you're shopping with us for the first time. Same pattern, this time in blue. So this is what it looks like made up. And shout out again to Caroline. It done a brilliant job of knitting this one. You've got two of the blue, a pink, a white, and a black as well. Plus, don't forget, you get your all-important chart and the instructions of how to read your chart included there as well. All written by Denny. 17.99 and it's really really clear i love the fact that the charts are um, in color and really big so you can see or well, denny was sort of going along with it as she was knitting and it's not like stopping and having a look and having a read through again you can literally glance at it and see the chart as you're knitting which is brilliant reference as you're going so that's the blue option now the green, uh, which is the cushion that Denny has got. Would you mind putting that just in front of you so we can see the finished one, please? Um, that's it, thank you. You've got uh, your instructions, your pattern. Three of the olive green. Your cuddles in white. And then you also have your two black plus your pattern to make your cushion. It's only 19.99. Brilliant kit, absolutely brilliant. We love that one, and that one is still one of the most popular of the day. I think the hillside's been in the lead. Hillside is brilliant. We'll quickly recap that one as well. Um, oh, in fact, no, we've got this one in grey as well, haven't we? One second, let me reach for it. But in grey, it looks like this. There's your grey. Uh, it comes with three of the grey, one black and one cuddle, lovely fleecy white. Uh, enough to be able to do your cushion. It's got an envelope back if you do want uh, any buttons. There are buttons on the website. Maggie! Maggie has knitted this one for us, one of our Yarn Lane fans. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you ever so much, Maggie. So that's the grey option. And don't forget, it does come with your um, eye knit design instructions as well. £19.99 KS6683 is your item code. Have a look back through on the website though if you've missed anything. You can find it all there on the website. The most popular, the hillside. Storming into the lead. You can see it up here. In fact, let's grab it down and have a look. Uh, so you've got all the colours that you need, This, including this lovely variegated green, your sky blue, your lavender, um, your almost like chartreuse colour here as well plus your cuddly white, $22.99, and it comes with your eye knit pattern and chart. Maggie's been busy, you know. Maggie's knitted this one as well. My word, thank you so much. I must say, I think Maggie has knitted one of my jumpers for me as well, because I recognise her name. And she is a fantastic knitter and must, you know, absolutely love it. I know there's so many people who can't sit and watch the telly without doing something with their hands so constantly knitting but you've made such gorgeous things for us so thank you ever so much um right so that is everything from yarn lane today yarn lane it isn't back tomorrow uh, is it on when's the next yarn lane back on monday back on monday with cafe knitting kits they sold out last time didn't they cat 
with Rebecca Reed and Kat. I remember I was in the gallery and they were very popular. It was the day that I bought in, um, yeah, it's the day that I came in with Maisie. Uh, tomorrow on Sewing Street, though, you're not going to want to miss it. If I were you, I'd set your alarm bright and early because it is the one and only John Scott's birthday. Have you heard? Has he told you um, that it's his birthday? Hasn't been quiet about it, has he? It's John's birthday at eight o'clock. Oh, tune in to see the cake before it all gets eaten as well. I might. I might have a little uh, a little slither of it today. Do you think you'll notice? It's the last day, the last two days, sorry, the last weekend of the mega early bird. So you'll be going to able to get some great discounts tomorrow for John's birthday. That's eight o'clock. Plus, you're going to have such a giggle with Lisa Lamb um, and also, oh, Jenny Jackson. Jenny Jackson, who are, of course, so crazy girls. They are crazy, crazy. Amanda Little's here as well. There's loads going on for John's birthday on Sewing Street tomorrow from 8 o'clock. It's been lovely back. Yeah, it's been lovely to be back with you. We've got to um, go and do some party buying the set I think so uh, thank you for your company this morning it's been lovely to be back with you I'm not back until well I'll back all week on Sunday so enjoy John's birthday I'll be watching with you and uh, yeah John will see you bright and early for his birthday show on Sewing Street tomorrow at eight o'clock see you then